Good morning, greetings and salutations. This is Coach Carla. Hey, whoo! Did you get today's affirmation? Did you get today's affirmation? Listen, if you're not getting the daily affirmations first on my post, you're missing out because today's affirmation is I will do something to stretch myself today. Though I see the affirmations every day, I have plans and they're going to happen on this time and do it this, do it at, at this moment. But I forget. I forget that I don't have to wait till something happens or something is in the right place or something has fallen into place. Just do it. Just do it now. So today, the thing that I'm doing to stretch myself is... I, w I had the plan that I was going to start the daily affirmation videos on March 1st. I'm going to do it today. I'm going to stretch myself today. Because why wait for some, a day that may not come when you are able to do it today? So today, I'm going to do it. So let me tell you the story. So I woke up one day and I did a stretch. Oh! And as I stretched out, I touched something. And the something I touched was a word. And I, I looked at this word and it said, quitter. And I threw the word away and I looked over and there were other words. Procrastinator, doubter. Where did these words come from? And as I was talking, they were just leaking out of every hole in my face, my eyes, my mouth, my nose, my ears, just negativity pouring out of me. I had to stop. I had to think, what is going on? What is happening? And then I realized the reason why I was so full of negativity was because I lingered too long reading comments that spoke about negativity. I focused too long on negative comments people had said to me. I dwell too long on past negative issues and negative moments and negative actions. And the longer I dwelled there, the more it just filled up and it just soaked my brain. It was too much. It was too much. Have you ever had a day like that? Have you ever had a day where no matter what you wanted to do, you could not turn your mind around? You could not change those thoughts? It as though you had just fell into a black hole of negativity. While I was there and I was just steep, I mean soaked, and just this negative thought. And it was at a really, really low point because some things were failing in my life. I didn't feel that I was supposed to be doing what I was doing and I definitely wasn't doing what I should have been doing. And I got tired. And when you get tired, like your, your defenses go down. Things just fall down. And it's just so much. And as I was just tired, and just drowning in negativity from outside and inside because some of the things that I realized I was telling myself and didn't even realize I was telling myself and I knew I needed to stop I just needed to stop I, I just couldn't continue and as I started going forward and looking at some different things I looked back and remembered I had used positive affirmations without even understanding what affirmations were when I was in, I, I was a teen mom, and when I started really being on my own, and we're going to unpack that teen mom and homelessness on another video that you must tune in. And so as I started realizing that I did not want to be a third generation welfare recipient, um, raising fourth and fifth generation welfare, welfare recipients, I, something needed to stop. And in that stopping, I realized I needed to be who I was created to be. And the Lord created me to be fearfully and wonderfully made. That means he don't make any junk. 
He knew what he was doing when he made me. I was the one that was stopping the process. Because when he said go right, I left. <laughs> I went right. And when you think of right, I went left. And it was just too much. I started using and telling myself that I'm getting off public assistance. I'm getting off welfare. We're not always going to live this life. And I, I would tell my kids that. And I would, you know, and it, it didn't happen overnight. It did not happen overnight. Because it's not. And as they got older and I was still receiving assistance, it started going down because I was doing and being, becoming who I was supposed to be. The affirmations that got me through kept reminding me of who I am. I said of who I am. Now, I wasn't that yet, but in my mind, I knew that's who I am. And who I am is amazing. I am wonderful. I am an entrepreneur with a six-figure business. I am wonderfully and fearfully made. I am loved. I have a husband that loves me beyond. I have a life that gives to others. Those are the things that keep reminding me to move forward. And I know all of that is not there yet. But in my mind, I can see it. And I have to visualize it. And I have to believe it. While I was sitting and becoming this black hole of negativity, being sucked in, I had to make a decision. I had to hit those boosters and shoot up out of there. I wanted to be a supernova of positivity. Now, if you know what a supernova is, a big, ginormous explosion. And it could be seen by scientists and, and people with telescopes and whatnot. But it's brilliant and it's bright. And I wanted that. I wanted that. And the only way I was going to get that was to turn my life around. So as I started looking and started turning and doing different things, I realized nothing is going to happen until I put it deep inside of me. Deep. We need to go deep. You hear people doing affirmations and you're like, oh, it doesn't work for me. It's so soft. Here's how I want to do affirmations. When we do our affirmations, you, yes, you're going to breathe. You're going to have to you know, take some deep breath. You're going to get it out there. You're going to do what you need to do. But at the same time, you're going to pack it full of energy. You're going to just lather it with energy because you have to believe that you have to believe that with 100,000 percent of your being that you are amazing that you are loved that you are abundant if you don't believe it you can sit here and do this 25 30 40 3 4 hours a day but if you don't believe it deep inside of you Nothing is going to happen. And I know I would do affirmations and it would just be wrote. It's like, I am abundant. I have all the finances I need. I am. It was just, just coming in. It was just like, you cannot plant both seeds on concrete and expect flowers to grow. Because that concrete is sealed. There is, nothing is getting in. Unless there's a crack, nothing is getting in. What you want to do is you want to start cracking that open. If you keep dripping water on concrete in the same spot, it's going to roll some stuff away. But we want fertile soil. We want, we want fertile ground. And sometimes it's hard. I know. I know. I know sometimes it's hard. And some days you just don't want to get up. Have you had a day like that? That you just... You knew what was going to happen. You know where it was going. You just didn't want to do it. I understand. I have days like that. I wake up and, you know, I give it I give it all to the Lord. I bless and pray and do my devotion. And then it's like I walked away from all of that goodness. But I want to take it with me everywhere I go. So I need you to follow me. 
because we are going to take a journey in affirmations. So you're going to get the affirmation every day, and then we're just going to talk about some different affirmations. The reason why I'm so hooked now on affirmations is I have decks and decks and decks of affirmations, and I'm creating decks. And when COVID hit, when the pandemic hit, and stuff started shutting down, and I started thinking like, I want to get coaching is going to be interesting. Doing my vision boards with students is going to be you know, non-existent. So what can I do now? And and it just was a blessing. One, that I heard it. <laughs> it says do these affirmation decks. I was able to find some good decks, um, some good templates, and put everything together. And then find a printing service that allowed me to print reasonably and get it back quickly. I'm working on more decks because they're just, just coming. They're just like, how about a deck on this? How about a deck on sorrow? Because I just had some friends, three uh, friends lose some, some people very close to them. And I thought about like, here's some sorrow, you know, but it's the, it's the sorrow is not to keep you sorrowful, it's to help you to transcend and understand that there is grief and it's going to hurt for a little while. But then there's the other side where you'll still love and, and understand that they're gone, but you'll still, you'll be able to live. And there's self-affirmation and self-awareness and self-love and do it now. Affirmations, do it now. I want to make sure that while we're going through and doing these daily affirmations, that you're not just, it's not just rote. It's not just, oh, I'm, I, I will do something to stretch myself today. And you don't do anything to stretch yourself today. This is my stretch today. To, to not wait to start now. To do it now. To get up and do it now. To make it happen now. As opposed to waiting and trying to get stuff done later. Because later is not always promised. And I want to do something that we're promised for today. So I ask that you join me every morning between 7 and 8 so that we can do our daily affirmations. And <clears throat> the stress is going to be on me. Though I have multiple alarms set, it is taking off and getting out the bed. And it, it is the morning, but I'm, I'm a morning person, so I really enjoy the morning person. And I enjoy, enjoy the morning and being up in the morning and things of that nature. But I want you to be here with me. Can you be here with me? Will you join me? Will you come with me and let's do some daily affirmations. Let's change our lives. Let's, let's lay foundation that is solid. And when it's laid, it's, you're, going, you're going to build something on top of that that is going to be amazing and wonderful. Come with me. Take this journey of affirmations with me. And if you don't have my decks, please, please, please go to my Etsy page. I have a variety of different decks available. This deck is abundance. I have love, peace, health. If you know someone that's, um, that's going through recovery, I have addiction recovery. I, I want to make sure we cover everything with, with a simple I am. And everything that follows will be who you are. Because if you believe it and you receive it, you can achieve it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you soon.